guys and welcome back to another daytime video so um i've had a really good uh, morning um i'm just watching harry potter and the goblet of fire i'm not really a big harry potter fan in terms of i used to be when i was younger but as i grew up i sort of didn't see it for a while but you know I, i'm watching a few of the movies every now and again and they, they really are good movies aren't they um, the only one thing I don't get about um, Harry Potter is is if like um, Voldemort like was chasing Harry all his life to try and kill him but but killing Harry would kill Voldemort so Dumbledore knew that you know Harry had to uh, uh, Harry had to die for for the part of um, Voldemort um, that was in him to die so yeah but um, to simplify it, like um, by killing Harry, it would endanger Voldemort. Didn't didn't Voldemort know that? Like it, it like it's ironic in it that all Voldemort ever wanted to do was kill Harry, but it would be killing himself. So yeah, it's got a massive fan base, hasn't it? Like yeah, I, I used to love it when I was younger. I used to read. I've read all the books. Uh, yeah. I was watching some origin stories the other day about different characters because obviously they've only got the books and the movies to go on so you know I'd like to have known what happened to other characters when uh, you know after the events of the of the, the books and the films so yeah I just had a hot chocolate guys I was debating whether to to to, uh, to film when I was drinking my hot chocolate but then it went cold and like yeah I was waiting for another video to upload, but obviously, um, I have got slow internet speed at the moment, especially on weekends. There's a lot of people in my area, a large influx of people, means that I, I, don't, that I don't get the signal, the signal strength that I need for strong for a strong Wi-Fi connection. So yeah, the wind's blowing through uh, my um, ventilation, uh, not not shafts, but. That makes me think about the the, uh, the bit in Star Wars Phantom Menace when that dude goes, um, they've gone up the ventilation shaft or something like that. I've got air vents, so when the when the uh, wind blows, it blows through. So, yeah, I'm going to watch, I think I'm, I'm going to see the um, Harry Potter's on all day. I might, I might just watch, like, The Goblet of Fire and then, whatever. oh yeah, so you've got Harry, and, Harry Potter and The Goblet of Fire on first. So it says, um, Harry must confront a dragon and an, and an enchantment maze only to find himself in the grasp of a human who must not be named. Frightening images. That one was 2004. Then it's Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And it says, Harry, Harry forms a secret society to battle Voldemort when the Ministry of Magic refuses to believe he's alive with the late Alan Rickman. Flashing images. That one was 2007. And then Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. This one says, the gang, the gang, the gang deal with the banks of young love as evil Voldemort plots Dumbledore's demise with the late Aaron Luke McMahon. Flashing images slash upsetting scenes. That one was 2009. Um, then we've got Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, part one. As Voldemort takes over the Ministry of Magic, Harry tries to destroy the Horcruxes that give him power. That one was 2010. Then finally... Oh, sorry guys, there's someone banging in the background. I don't know what they're doing. So, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Harry must face his nemesis, Voldemort, in an epic final confrontation with the late Alan Rickman. Violence slash moderate language slash flashing images. And that one was 2011. I actually went to see the um, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 at the cinema. I remember watching it. It had a really good um, soundtrack as well. Um, and and uh, after all the Harry Potter films, um, the two Fantastic Beasts are on. I really love Fantastic Beasts. I think it's an amazing franchise with um, Eddie Redmayne. And um, I, like, I, lo I love the character Newt, Sc Newt Scamander. Or Shamanda, whatever you call him. Um, because I like how he cares for all the animals as well. And I like how he's not like... 
he's a very unique character because he doesn't pick sides. He's sort of, you know, he's a very original character. He just keeps himself to himself. He reminds himself very much of me. Like, he reminds, he reminds me of myself, should I say. Yeah, he's a bit of a lone wolf and, yeah, he's got a good heart. Even if he doesn't re really uh, know how to socialise with people that much. Same as me. <laughs> I love Fantastic Beasts 2 as well. I adore that scene at the end where um, where they uh, all of them band together to stop the fire. Uh, yeah. They've got some, um, some good characters as well, secondary characters. I can't remember, guys, it's been a while now. I watched it about, probably about four months ago. No, not, not four months ago, sorry. I watched it probably about maybe eight weeks ago or something like that. Um, I watched one and then I, straight after I watched the other one. But I can't wait for Fantastic Beasts and where to find them three. Or will it just be called Fantastic Beasts 3? That's coming out next year, 2021, I think. Because it ended, um, spoiler alert, it ended... Um, with Voldemort, uh, Voldemort, sorry guys, it's because I'm watching Harry Potter, I'm getting my uh, movies mixed up, it ended, it ended, um, it ended with um, Grindelwald telling Credence who he really was, and it's, a, it's obviously a relation to Albus Dumbledore, or at least, you know what I mean, he's one of the Dumbledores, um, yeah, uh, I mean, Johnny Depp's an amazing actor, so he plays Grindelwald really, 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 really good. So, yeah. I love the, um, I love the, the movie Dark Shadows with, uh, with Johnny Depp in it, where he plays a vampire that gets locked away and then gets reawakened in modern times. Well, not modern times, but the 70s. And then, yeah, he builds up a bit his, his old business and, yeah, it's got Ava Green in it, or Eva Green. She's a fantastic actor. I love her in Kingdom of Heaven and I also love the, um, I tell you, if you like Fantastic Beasts, watch um, Miss Peregrine's Falcon's Home for Peculiar Kids. I think that's what it's called, or Peculiar Children. You know what it's called? Yeah, so have a look at that, guys. It's basically where... She, she works, she um, looks after a group of um, peculiar kids that have got all these special abilities. And then there's this group of monsters, well, people that turn into monsters that are trying to hunt them down. You know, it's a really, really good um, good movie. It's got the guy from um, Hugo in, if you've ever seen a movie called Hugo. I, did, I, did, I never did uh, know his name. It's the little kid from Hugo, but obviously he's grown up now. He's also in uh, the modern day Journey's End, the World War One film, which originally was a, um, I think it was a 40s film, or a 30s film, but it's, yeah, Journey's End, that's got him in. Uh, so yeah, give that a go, guys. <sighs> I think I'm going to get something to eat now, because I'm slightly hungry, I'm not sure what, guys, but, but yeah. It's fairly early, it's only about, I'm not sure, but considering it's October, it's pretty sunny out, a bit windy, I'm pretty warm now, I was cold this morning, but, but yeah, so I've got an entire afternoon of uh, Harry Potter movies, so obviously the movies are really, really long, I think they're about two and a half hours each, aren't they, something like that, um, so yeah. I'm not sure, um, I know this is a stupid question guys, but is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child out now, or is it just, they're talking about making a book, is it out as a book, because when I was watching a, um, somebody who was telling the stories of, like, the characters, some of the characters in Harry Potter, he said, he mentioned, uh, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, but, like, if it was out as a book, I'm pretty sure they'll have done a film, won't they, or planning on doing a movie, because this is J.K. Rowling, we think we're talking about, you know. I know she's in trouble at the moment for her, her comments made. Was it about trans women or trans people? Sometimes you just think, I guess sometimes, 
my argument with that is, if in doubt, say nothing. Like, why bring something up if it's not your life, you know? Why bother? I know everyone has the right to an opinion. I'm not saying that, guys, but just keep yourself to yourself. Then you can't go wrong, can you? You know, there was no need to be not outspoken, but there's no need to speak your mind sometimes, you know? Like, why, why just hurt people for the sake of it, you know? She had a good thing going and, you know, she should have lost quite a few fans over it. But, yeah, I suppose it's like Logan Paul. Um, family Guy, I was watching the Family Guy. Um, I didn't finish it. It was the Family Guy um, episode where Meg becomes a uh, social media star. And this, they went to this sort of um, comic con type thing for YouTubers, for social medias. And they were talking about a disgraced um, Logan Paul. It's like Logan Paul again. All sometimes all you have to do is just not do that one thing, because success can be, uh, you know, success can either be, you know, over many years or come all at once. But what's what's for certain is success can can be taken away from you in a second. You know, when you're in the public eye, you can't afford to do stupid things. That and the fact is, you know, is sometimes just have a bit of human compassion. You know, I don't care if you. You know, you've got a lot of followers on social media, you know. You don't make fun of dead people. It's just, you know, especially like, you know, I don't know. I just, I just find, I don't like Logan Paul. I never have done, never will do. You know, I find him arrogant, but yeah. Um, I like J.K. Rowling's work, but I guess sometimes it's like, you hate the sin, but love the person in it kind of thing. Whereas, like, in this case, I love I love the content that JK's made, but I, I just, I don't know, I just think that she's been given a platform of authority, and it's her job to make sure that she doesn't say anything. I'm not saying, you know, you shouldn't, you, people are too quick to get offended um, nowadays, guys, you know, I'm on both sides of the uh, argument, of course I am, but, like, you know, sometimes just don't say stuff and then if there'll be no argument to be had unless you make one so she chose to make an argument and yeah she's got to deal with the consequences because actions have consequences but yeah sorry guys i'm getting a bit carried away so i'm, I'm gonna go get some food now and another drink because i'm really really thirsty so yeah i probably should be doing jobs but it's one of those when you put on a movie and then you think, oh, I'll just watch this movie for a bit. Then you watch that one, then the next one comes on, then the next one comes on, you know. I like franchise movies. I like to get into the franchise, know everything about the characters, etc. But yeah, I'm not going to be lazy. I'm going to get out for a nice walk tonight, get some exercise. So, yeah, hopefully it stays nice and uh, not sunny, but because obviously at night time it's not sunny, but hopefully it stays nice and dry because I don't want the rain. I don't need it, you know, I've got a lot of stuff to do. Um, yeah, I could just do it without the rain at the moment. So, yeah, I sound like an old person going on about the weather, guys, but, yeah, I'm sorry. It's just the weather plays a huge part in my life. Because depending on what the weather's like means I can do this or I can do that. Because, like, obviously, when it was raining, it kept people inside, so, you know... In the daytime, it's, it's pretty difficult filming because there's a, a lot of people outside and cars and dogs parking, so, yeah. There'll be a, 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 there'll, there'll be a time in a few weeks, guys, where I won't be able to post videos because I'll be busy for quite a few days, so, yeah. But I will always try to post at least, at least a minimum of once a week. There is no maximum, but a minimum of once a week. So I hope you are enjoying my content, guys, you know. If you are, give this video a big thumbs up by, by hitting the like button. And please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Okay, guys, I hope you have an awesome day or night, depending on where you are. Get in touch with those video requests, guys, so I know what videos you want me to do. Okay, guys, I'll see you again in the next video. Until next time, this is Shadow ASMR signing out. I, I thought I had something else to tell you guys, but no, it's gone. Okay, guys. Sayonara. Adios. Goodbye.